Hello guys, this is Prompt Engineer. In this video, we are going to look at AutoGPT, an experimental open source attempt to make GPT-4 fully autonomous. So in this video, we'll go through how to uh, the requirements of setting up GPT or AutoGPT um, in your own PC or system and use it locally. So this is a GitHub page. It's uh, the, the AutoGPT, an autonomous GPT-4 experiment. AutoGPT is an experimental open source application showcasing the capabilities of GPT-4 language model. This program driven by GPT-4 chains together LLM thoughts to autonomously achieve whatever goal you set. As one of the first examples of GPT-4 running fully autonomously, AutoGPT pushes the boundary of what is possible with AI. So we are going to go through the requirements uh, of getting started. But first the features of this AutoGPT, internet search uh, access for searches and information gathering, long-term and short-term memory management, GPT-4 instances for text generation, access to popular websites and platforms, and file storage and summarization with GPT-3.5. Now there are various requirements for that. Uh, the first, uh, let us uh, install Python. So uh, we would go to the uh, python.org uh, slash downloads here, and then we go to the most recent download and just uh, install it. So I've already installed the uh, file so this is the python installer so you're just going to install the file uh, i've already installed so you can do the required uh, installation but just remember uh, to add as path uh, for this the next requirement is visual studio so i'm going to use a visual studio for running this model so here is the view of the visual studio after we have opened up everything and all the files which we'll go through uh, just a minute uh, the next is we need we need the Docker app, uh, so we just going to uh, install this uh, Docker desktop, and I have this already installed. So this is the installation file. Let's uh, choose a folder where we are going to work. So let me uh, make a new folder here. So practice maybe, as I've already uh, installed this. So I'm going to install everything uh, in the practice. You're going to go to the GitHub page and then we are going to clone the source so we have to uh, copy this and go to this folder and paste it here and enter so this is cloning make sure you have uh, git installed previously and in this way you can clone the repository the github repository onto your local drive now i have created a, a practice uh, folder for you but this is uh, the folder where i have already cha changed the requirements now I will again uh, do the requirement changes for you in this uh, folder. The next is we would need to install the requirements here. So uh, we are going to change the directory to AutoGPT. So let's go back to the folder, the practice folder. This is the repository. So you're going to go to CMD here. And in the CMD, we are going to write this pip install dash r requirements txt. So you're just going to install the dependencies this will install everything that's required since all, I already have the requirements so uh, it says the requirement is already satisfied but this is the as per the updated version I don't think you would have any problems in getting this installed so all the requirements uh, are set here the next uh, section is we have to rename this as .env and we're just going to remove .template enter and open this file on a text file uh, with the help of a notepad for example and here we are going uh, to change a few things. So the first is your open API key. So here is the key uh, for the open API. So if you have uh, chat GPT, so you're going to go to chat GPT key, API key maybe. Here is open uh, AI API key. And I already have my login here. So we are going to create a new secret key here. And then we are going to copy uh, the secret key uh, to this location. So that's done. Next, we are going to use a uh, smart LLM model GPT-4, GPT-3. That's okay. Now for memory, we can use different um, systems for long-term memory. The first is a local drive. The next is the Pinecone, Redis, Milvus. So it's by default, it is set to local. Now we can configure into the Pinecone, but for you, I don't think it will be possible right now because uh, they are not allowing, Pinecone is not allowing any new uh joinees to get the api key so i've decided to show you on redis so we are going to change this to redis okay 
if you were using pinecone then you would have uh, given your api key and your region here but we are going to use redis so for redis we don't need to change anything as such but this password we need to set the password i will be setting the password to my password so i'm just going to write it here uh, next uh, i don't think we need anything uh, as of now if you have any problems in searching the internet then you would need to give uh, the google api key also this is just a simple process uh, mention in the comment section if you're facing any problem for the google search and then um, maybe i would uh, create a lesson for uh, getting this uh, google api key but for now it's just fine another thing we need is the 11 labs uh, if you want your ai to speak to you so you can go to 11 lab setup uh, that is also a free login uh, for a few duration 11 labs and there you can go to uh, sorry 11 labs you can go to 11 labs and here you can get uh, your api so if you go to the profile section you can get this api key so you can paste it in this location in this api key now for the voices uh, you can have different voices uh, as given in the github page here so the different kinds of voices you can have is this these rachel domi bella anthony so these are the different voices you can insert any two voices here so that the, the spoken voice will be uh, of that uh, ai agent uh, having said all this uh, i think we are going to face uh, uh, going to go to the next section which is redis so how to set up redis so for that uh, as i've already said you need to install uh, the docker application and it is mentioned in the github page on how to install your redis so this is the page we are going to go to install docker on desktop okay that is done for us then we are going to copy this and uh, run this in any cmd uh, file for example here you can go to uh, maybe here and you're going to go into cmd and take this file from here just copy it and just run it so after running that you would see the uh, docker app if you open the docker app you'll see an instance of that version here of the redis running here so i'm just going to start this uh, so it has started the redis has started the memory has started now uh if we go back to the folder where we have installed everything here so here uh i would like to change the folder to my working folder so i've opened this working folder on uh, the visual code studio so i've opened uh, every file here then i'm going to go to the terminal here on the top new terminal and there i am going to write this code as you can see how do we start uh, the auto gpt so this is the command so i'm going to go to visual studio and just start this code python and it says that the password uh, failed to authenticate the password so we need to do something here so we have uh, the redis which is already running but we have not yet set the password now i have spend so much time uh, trying to figure out a way to set the password but ultimately it is chat gpt that has helped me uh, to achieve that goal so i have asked a very uh, lengthy questions on how to set this and how to find the password so it has given me a command on how you can set your password so this is how you set your password we are going to go to here just copy the code here and we are going to go to any cmd for example uh, I'm just going to open a new CMD here. So here I'm just going to go to new CMD and so it is We see that it is being pinged in this uh, port 6379 next we are going to Go to ping. We are going to write ping here so we can see pong. Okay, then we are going to set the password So this is the command for setting the password config set require pass my password. So it's config set require pass this is the our password that we are going to set that's done next we authenticate our password so auth my password okay so we can see the password is set here we can just uh, press ctrl c to get out of the loop and now we can just close this uh, we can go back to visual vs studio uh, v -V vs code and now we are going to run it again python minus m auto gpt so now we can see that we get this command welcome to auto gpt enter the name of the ai and its role entering uh, nothing will load so i just going to name uh, let's say star gpt and ai maybe designed uh, designed i'm sorry designed to study about stars okay enter the five goals for example increase network grow command so uh, study about maybe study 
about the stars in the solar system uh, write me a page on the same include major discoveries that I can include in my uh, maybe PhD uh, study save uh, the information in a text file and terminate yourself uh, terminates okay so just going to run this so here we can see that the type of memory that is being used is a redis memory and if we go to the docker cell we can see that this is running and everything is set up so this is the way how you can run with the help of redis memory if you have pinecone pinecone is faster than redis if you have pinecone installed then uh, not install i mean uh, if, you, if you got the api access then you can just enter the api keys here and the region here and then you need to go to the settings here just a minute uh, in the memory backend you're just going to enter pinecone here so whatever long-term memory you're using you just need to enter that so this is i think uh, these are the steps in which you can run now you can uh, see the video that is uh, attached here so here you can see that if we just play it we can see that this was uh, the program in its running condition so using type of memory is a local cache memory so it's not using any any redis or pinecone so it has given a few tasks so it reasons by itself uh, it reasons by itself it has given a plan it has a plan for itself it criticizes uh, itself and take the next action as is required for solving the problems uh, that you uh, have specified for it so in this way you can uh, you know uh, conduct various experiments and uh, use this uh, it's important uh, software or this piece of code uh, which is the auto gpt for your own purpose now one of the one of the difference that uh, you can obviously find uh, in auto gpt when you compare uh, it with chat gpt is that in the chat gpt uh, you have to give your instructions you know manually and it's uh, as you can see in this example also how do i set the password so i've given it numerous commands here uh, uh, in order to come up with the ultimate solution but in the case of the auto gpt you just give it a few tasks and it will do all the necessary things it will divide its work into different subgroups it will search the internet it will use chat gpt gpt4 gpt3.5 and everything that is required for ultimately solving the problem that you have uh, given it to solve now this is the beautiful feature of uh, this auto gpt and now uh, since i have shown everything to you I think it would not be a problem for you to get started with AutoGPT. Now mention in the comments if you face any problems in running uh, the AutoGPT. As you know, we are in the revolution of this AI technology and it is changing and it's evolving every day. And every day I'm learning new and new things uh, for you know keeping up with the latest technologies. And it would be very great if all of us use AI for our benefit to make the humanity a, a better place uh, where we can live. So having said that, uh, thank you all for listening to this video and subscribe uh, to my channel. It's a new channel. I'm just uh, just started a few days uh, back uh, with the goal to educate people on AI, to help people understand the uses of AI. You know, people might have a very different, varied opinions on the usage of AI, but I think that AI is a very good uh, you know, tool if you use it correctly and it is going to solve many different problems of humanity and save us uh, from any impending dangers and dangers or any other things as such so having said that i would like to end this video here so you can have a look at the github page and uh, please ask me any questions uh, if you have uh, in your mind thank you so much